Alrighty guys, what's up? I got another tutorial that may or may not help some people. Um, this is going to be for people who want to transfer the save data from their computer uh, down to their Steam Deck. Or basically just any emu application um, at all. So, you know, for me, for example, when I'm at home, I'd much rather play on my computer, put it on the big TV, run it at maximum settings, do whatever the hell I want, 60 FPS, right? But sometimes when I'm on the go or when I'm camping or, you know, if I'm at work on a lunch break, I'd much rather prefer to play on my Steam Deck. But save data. It's kind of a pain in the butt to keep both of them synchronized. So this is going to be a video on how to make that as seamless and easy as possible. Um, so the first thing, one of the most important things you're going to need is the Steam Deck to have this application called Warpinator. It's very easy to set up. You do need to have your sudo, sudo password set. So make sure you have that set up. And when you click on it, it's gonna ask you a bunch of different questions. Um, but the big thing that we're gonna be focusing on is the little hamburger button at the top, and then preferences, and then connection, and then you want to make sure that you put your pseudo password in this guy right here, uh, in this group code. Um, or y in fact, this can actually be anything you want. Um, I made it something pretty easy and simple. Um, once you have that password set on your computer, you're gonna wanna download something called Wimpinator. Warpinator and Wimpinator. Now, when you have both of them installed, they're going to look very identical to one another, um, as you can see. And on Warpinator or Wimpinator on the Windows, you're going to open up your pre preferences. You're going to go to Connection, and then this group code is going to be the same code to whatever you want it to be set to. So as long as both of those are set to the same thing and your computer and your Steam Deck are set basically on the same network, I have my computer hardwired and then the Steam Deck is wireless. Um, I've done it this way and it's pretty good. Now when you open the applications up, you should see on each one that they recognize one another. Now if they don't recognize one another, just close out of the applications on both devices open them both back up and you should be good to go. If that still doesn't work, just restart the devices and that should work. Once you see them, you click on them, and click on them, next, and you'll basically see that it's connected on your local network. So now you're like, okay, well, I got this button, I can send a folder, send a file, what the fuck do I do now? Cool, so now this is where Yuzu, or what, where you're trying to transfer a save data from and to. So I have a newer save data on my computer and I want it on my Steam Deck, right? So this is the game right here. You right click on it and then you hit open save data location. Once you do that, you're gonna have this gigantic folder right here. We're gonna go up here and just go back one and it should already be highlighted to us. Me personally, I like to copy this um, and then I like to go into my downloads folder and just paste it to make things easy. Now on Win or Winpinator, we are gonna say send a folder it all, should pull up downloads and that folder that we copied and pasted is going to be right there. Went pretty fast. So now on your Steam Deck, it should ask if you want to transfer those files over. I have it to set just to go ahead and just automatically transfer without asking. You're going to see those files go over right here. And then you're going to open the containing folder. So once we're back on the Steam Deck, um, we want to go ahead and right click on the Zelda game, open our save data, and we're just going to trash all this, all of this stuff right here. And we are going to then paste the files uh, from our downloads. 
Um, so once you download uh, your save file using Wimpinator, Wimpinator should just put it in your download folder and it'll look like those bunch of numbers we saw earlier and inside of it's going to be all of our save data. So we copy paste that to where Yuzu has the save set and we go ahead and launch the game. Now once we load up the game, there's our save, Room of Awakening, and once we load it up, it'll probably take a very, very, very long minute to load up because the Steam Deck is very slow while reading 18 gigs. And of course, in the comments, I'll uh, I'll link where to find Wimpinator and Warpinator. I'll link them both. Um, they're essentially one in the same application. They just have different names for the Steam Deck as well as Windows. And voila, there is our save, and we are right exactly where we were with all of our stuff and same time, same everything. And that's how we, we get it transferred over.